I want is this is pure HTML. So every concept we are understanding with HTML and also with the CSS. Now the same page I want to design like this. I want to design the same page in this way. This way. So what is coming? This is same example only. But the unordered list, the first unordered, any all unordered list, we apply a background color. Orange red. And for each list item, for each list item, we are providing a separate background color. So we want to design the same page. We want to design the same page. I'll make a copy of this. Same page. HTML unordered list with the CSS. So nine. HTML unordered list dot HTML with the CSS only. So same page. Same page, but we want to show it with the CSS. So refresh. Eight to one HTML unordered list dot HTML. So what I want is. I don't want this one. I want a separate font called as Verdana. Another font. You can take the font names from. We, you can take the font name from MS Office or from the fonts folder. So Verdana is coming. I don't want that much space. 22 pixel is enough. Sir, what is this serif? S E R I S. In which ca ca family it belongs to? I'll explain this when we start okay. with our CSS. We have got basically. Okay. Four categories of fonts are there. Serif, sans serif, cursive, and mono space. These are the four category of fonts. See, for example, my house, my family, from my forefathers onwards, we got a family name. So all the members of that family belongs to that particular family only. So in my family, from my grandfather, my father, my me, my kids, so everyone belongs to the same family, but everyone have got their own some special features. Yes. So the same way, font is also having a different family. So four families are there for font. So this is only to tell that in which family category this Vardana belongs to. Not much impact. If you are not writing also, you will get the same output only. Got it? Hello? Okay, sir. Yeah. So font size 22 pixel, we are getting. Now, what I want is this unordered list. I want to provide a background color. So in order to provide the background color for the unordered list, we'll say background hyphen color of orange red. So background color, we are providing it as orange red. Yes, we got the background color. Then after that, each list item each list item, I want to provide a separate color. So for that purpose, for each list item, so I'll say LI, for the list item, background color of light salmon. Some color is applied, light salmon. Each list item, some background color is applied, but everything is coming together. So I want to provide some gap so in order to provide some gap for the list item, margin we can provide. Five pixel, the whole side margin of five pixel we are providing. The whole side margin we are providing. And for the list item, some padding also if you want, you can provide. So padding of five pixel. For the list item, sir, some padding can be applied. Yes? Sir, is it not uh, at the bottom, margin at the bottom? I just given all the side, I provided some margin. Here also some margin. If you want to have only at the bottom, it depends on you. So I'll say. No, because, no, 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 why I'm asking is here on the top. Yeah. Uh, on the top, there is no uh, margin, right? No, that is not margin. That is padding. That is called as okay. padding of the, this unordered list. So if you want to provide some space there for the unordered list, you just say padding top 10 okay. pixel. So padding top 10 pixel. Have you seen space is coming? Oh, okay, okay. Padding top. 
and for the bottom yes, also if you want to provide padding bottom okay. so why i am not using padding see padding bottom so bottom also padding is applied mm -hmm. got it okay sir now why i am not giving the padding see for example when you see this item this unordered list let us go to inspect element you take one unordered list just one point you have to understand inspect element so you take one ul when you take that ul you see this picture you can see here right so there what is coming padding for the unordered list padding on the top is nothing right nothing is given bottom nothing is given but in the left hand side how much is given 40 40 pixel so if i apply padding 5 pixel this bullets will go inside you may not be able to see by default for a unordered list or ordered list padding left is given with the 40 pixel padding left is given with the 40 pixel please remember that and the margin top and bottom is also 22 pixel margin top and bottom is 22 pixel now when you take the list item padding is 5 pixel top right bottom left 5 pixel padding is applied got it so any element and padding margin bottom is 5 pixel margin bottom is 5 pixel So any element, if you want to see, just inspect the element and you will understand. And the most important is padding left for the unordered list or ordered list is 40 pixel. Padding left for the unordered and ordered list is 40 pixel. That is one point you have to understand. Okay, sir. So that's the reason why. So I'm not giving padding for this. So for example, when you come to this and if you say padding, of 10 pixel even left also will be reduced when you come here you may not be able to see the bullets have you seen because yes, padding yes. left is gone inside so don't apply padding left directly you can say padding top 10 pixel and padding bottom 10 pixel padding left and padding bottom 10 pixel and the margin is also applied. So I don't want this much width. So it's occupying the complete area. If you don't want to have that much width, we can say width of 60% of the screen. Width of 60% of the screen. We applied 60%. Now padding top, padding bottom, and I want to provide padding right also, maybe 10 pixel. Padding right also, 10 pixel. So everything is coming. So this is how we design our ordered list so one not ordered list unordered list so we have got an unordered list so unordered list is defined with the ul so we got the font family we provided the font size we are providing a background color padding top bottom so why padding left we have not given because by default padding left is 40 pixel by default padding left is 40 pixel so then only I can see this marker in a correct way. And for the list item also, we applied a separate background color. And also we given margin bottom. Only margin bottom is applied. So now I'll, okay, list item, margin bottom. So if I'm not providing the margin bottom, it will be clubbed together. Because of that padding, it will be clubbed together. I want to have some gap between, so margin bottom. So this is what, unordered list. See how to create an application. I mean softwareyt.html This is what the page we want to develop a very simple page only the colors and all you can go for so when you see this page identify how many sections are there 
when you see this page we can make this yellow colored thing as one section and all the text contents are coming to the center so one division some background color is coming and softwave it solutions two colors are coming first color and the second part i mean second text as another color so in order to create this we work with the span so span. this is one span and this is another span then after that we have got our team so our team have got some paragraph three images are coming then some paragraph our clients so the complete text is coming to the center complete thing is coming to the center so this is what the page we want to develop so first you understand how many sections are coming or how many divisions are required in this page so this is first division we got the second division third division fourth one and the fifth division so we need to have five divisions in our page so let's create one project so new file maybe 14 we say project 1 dot html so based on what we studied till now using that we are going to design a page project 1 dot html so exclamation so this is what the page of software it so title we are providing it as software it so inside this we plan how many divisions one two three four five divisions right one two three four five divisions so in order to have five divisions div star five so we got five divisions so division second division the third division fourth division and also we got five divisions so the first division is nothing but header part so we call this as header section header section comments also we are writing the second part is nothing but our team so team section the next section is client section client section then after that development section so we got development section and the last one is nothing but footer section the last one we got the footer section so this is what the page we have so division this is what the footer section all the sections has come now in this sections header section what is that we want to provide so header section we want to provide software it solutions maybe h1 and also some paragraph and h1 also two sections are coming that heading also two sections are coming to provide that h1 span so we got span softwave it and also we got another span solutions so software it solutions that is what the header and now we got the paragraph inside this paragraph i'm giving maybe 70 words so first header section we have done so h1 one span another span and a paragraph also we have done so let us open this page and see how it looks like open with the live server i'll just copy this path and we use that in our firefox browser so software it solutions and this particular paragraph has come this is one division now by default all the text should come to the center the complete body the complete page should come to the center okay that we'll see now this is one division now the second division 
our team so that i will give it as h2 our team so inside the division our team we'll say our team so when we say our team some paragraph three images are coming and one another paragraph so one paragraph lorem 70 then in between we have got three images so if you want that images can be given inside a separate division so img src is equal to images slash team one dot jpg we have already downloaded some images from pexels.com we downloaded team one dot jpg you see images team one dot jpg this is team two dot jpg and also this is team 3.jpg so you can download these images from pexels.com so pexels.com download some images of team so team or teams team so we are looking for team so this is one image second image so working in a team environment so these images can be taken and we'll say development what we develop development images may come these are all development then we have got clients we'll get clients search for client so these are all clients so from pexels.com you can download the required images so our team three images is what we want so first image img src is equal to <clears throat> images slash team two dot jpg img src is equal to images slash team three dot jpg team three dot jpg these are the three images so our team section is over when you come to our page first image second image and the third image is coming so our team is done after that our team what is coming our clients we got our clients the next section so in this one h2 our clients so there also one paragraph we say lorem 70 70 words are required we need to have another division inside this we need to have the images so we will say images slash client one dot jpg the second image client two dot jpg we are making the structure of the page first then we will do styles and all so three dot jpg again here also we need to have a paragraph after the images lorem 70 then after that the client section images are placed after that a paragraph with the lorem 70 70 words are required so this is what clients our clients now we got the development section h2 watch we develop what we develop heading a paragraph so lorem 70 so paragraph is coming so we got the division in the diff img src is equal to images slash develop hyphen one dot jpg because we are already really i mean we are already having the images so it is easy for us to develop this page so we know what to write so because only dummy text only lorem so it is easy for us to do the coding part so then paragraph we got lorem 70 so this is what what we develop now below that footer section copyright followed by c surrounded with a circle 2020 software it solutions this is h3 maybe so inside the footer section h3 copy right so we say copyright ampersand copy 
P semicolon. This is called as entity. We will study this. So copyright symbol C surrounded with the circle. Copyright, comma, Softwave IT Solutions. This is H3. Copy, write, ampersand, copy, Softwave IT Solutions. Then after that, inside a paragraph or directly, all rights reserved. In the next line, all rights reserved. In the next line, developed and maintained by, you can write your name. So developed and maintained by, designed and developed by, designed and developed by, designed and developed by, team at software IT. So this is what we are writing. So all our contents are ready. All our contents are ready. So whatever the tags we studied, using that, we develop this page. So header section, one division, H1. So practically we can understand the use of division. So H1, H1 is closed. We got a paragraph. Again, H2, our team, paragraph. Div is closed. Paragraph, client section, and also development section. Footer section, everything is done. Now let's see how our page looks like. So header part is coming, team is coming, images are coming, everything is coming. Now the first part, so copyright symbol, ampersand copy, semicolon. Copyright, software IT solutions, all rights reserved, designed and developed by team at SIT. This is the page. So our contents are ready. Now what we need is, we want all this text should come to the center. We want our own specific font. So for that purpose, let us come to the style section. We have body. In this body, text hyphen align center. To keep all the text to the center. So body, text hyphen align center. Everything is coming to the center, including the images are coming to the center. All right. Now let us make this image in a proper width and height. Whatever images are there. So in order to say whatever images are there, IMG tag. We want to provide a specific width of 250 pixel and we provide a height of 150 pixel. Let us see how it looks like. So image size is reduced. All images width and height. So maybe we increase the width to 280 and 170. So bigger image size is coming. Three images are coming. Or if you want, you can keep four images also. Now some gap is required. So we'll say margin hyphen right of 25 pixel. Margin hyphen right of 25 pixel. All right. So width reduced to 160. I want to provide a border for each image. So border, three pixel, solid, black color. Some border radius is required for us. Border hyphen radius of 15 pixel, a curve. So some padding is applied. Padding of four pixel, some gap between the content and image. We want to provide some box shadow box shadow zero zero so 10 pixel as well as black color so we are applying some box shadow so images of bigger size so we are providing our own image width and height some gap we are providing then we are providing a border same like photo frame in the last class we discussed about a photo frame same thing we are applying border radius is 15 pixel padding of 4 pixel and box shadow you see images are coming the text is coming to the center now what else we need we want to provide a background color for each one of this a background color to be applied to each one of this so each one we are providing a background color so for that purpose 
each division for that inline styles to be applied style is equal to background hyphen color dark slate gray some color we applied background color dark slate gray first part and i don't want to provide this space i mean margin is not required and we want to provide some padding for all the division for all the division we want to provide a padding of 10 pixel the space between the content and boundary and when you see this body there is some space is coming so by default body margin is zero pixel we don't want that so we will say margin eight pixel is the default uh, margin for body the default margin is eight pixel because of that that space was coming so we made it as margin zero pixel now we see space is gone this is what the first part now our team we want a separate background color so what we do is inside the division inline style background hyphen color of light green background color of light green is what we are providing you see light green is coming so almost similarly our page also only color is different our clients our clients we want to provide a background color of so style is equal to background hyphen color of light blue so we are providing a background color of light blue all right the next division style is equal to background color of light coral we are providing a background color of light coral and the footer section same header what color is given we are providing so style is equal to background hyphen color dark slate gray dark slate gray and foreground color we want to give it as white color foreground color we want to provide white color color white so this is what the page is so even here also if you want you can provide the background color as i mean foreground color as white now softwave it solutions we want two different colors so for that span how to provide that style is equal to we provide the color as uh, uh, violet or dark violet okay let's see violet and the other one style is equal to the foreground color we are giving it as yellow the foreground color we are providing it as yellow so software it solutions some text is coming our team three images our clients what we develop copyright software it solutions all rights reserved so whatever tags we discussed based on that we were able to develop a page the purpose of studying this is we should be able to develop a real web page so we are in the initial stage so based on what we studied whatever the tags we studied till now we were able to implement so we used headings h1 h2 we used division we used span we used uh, images then what else we studied some text formatting tags only rest all the tags are being used in our page rest all the tags are being used in our page additional thing also and if you want you can provide your own font so inside this body text align to keep all the text in the center so font hyphen family i'll say comic sans ms serif so we are providing font family comic sans ms and serif so font also is being changed and the paragraph font size can be increased paragraph your font size can be increased 
or i will provide only vadana or aerial the font is aerial all right so paragraph size to be increased so for all the paragraph i want the font size to be 18 pixel font size to be 18 pixel so we are increasing the font size also so this is aerial font understood this almost similar with the previous page so more better way we were able to develop so you can increase the image size if you want to increase you can increase that also so i'll provide 320 and uh, 190 pixel 320 and 190 pixel we are getting a bigger image so we design so even the color can be given as white color also so this is how we design our page so whatever we studied everything we applied on this so foreground color is white foreground color is white so any of the other font if you want you can apply that so good fonts and all you apply so paragraph some line height is required so some gap is required i'll say line height of 1.5 so we are providing line height of 1.5 so some gap is also happening between the text so everything is based on the css so we designed a real page using the tags that we discussed till now so this is what the page next thing we are going to talk about is iframe so what is basically iframe when we talk about iframe iframe is a tag this iframe is stands for inline frame the iframe stands for inline frame what is the purpose of that so i have got a web page so this is my web page inside this web page i want to keep one another website or one another html document i want to keep here so we have got many html documents are there i want to keep one another html document in our web page itself or i want to keep one pdf file or a powerpoint presentation or any other type of document or i want to provide my google map the location map i want to keep or if I want to keep a 360 degree image, 360 degree image, or I want to keep one another website in my web page, another software IT web page I want to keep here, or a Google site I want to keep it here. So for that purpose, we use iframe. So inline frame, what is the purpose? So iframe tag, it defines an inline frame that contains another document like an html document a video any type of document like text document pdf file another website etc into the current web page if you want to keep any other type of document or youtube video or a 360 degree image anything if you want to keep we use this iframe inline frame so a useful tag not only that not only these documents so html document youtube video uh, google maps google maps 360 degree image any type of document like text document pdf file another website etc anything if you want to place we use this iframe tag so alignment also can be given frame width the scrolling all that now what i want is what is the use case we are going to do? The use case we are going to do is local HTML pages. This is one page, image file, table, ordered list. These are the three different pages. So if I want to keep that, 
So local HTML pages, that means whatever the pages are there in our website itself, we want to integrate. So we'll create one new HTML file, 21, HTML underscore iframe dot HTML. So we are having iframe. So we'll just say the title as HTML iframe. So what is the first part? So inside the division, inside a division, we want to have a heading as local HTML pages. So H2, local web pages. So I want to keep the local web pages, local web pages. So how to keep the local web pages? These are all our local web pages. So I want to keep the ordered list. So for that purpose, I say iframe. SRC is equal to, we want to keep the ordered list. So 11 dot ordered list. 11 HTML ordered list. 11 dot HTML. 11 dot HTML underscore ordered underscore list dot html list dot html frame border by default zero it is paired tag iframe is paired opening and closing is coming so what page to be integrated 11 dot correct only right 11 html underscore ordered o r d e r e d underscore list dot html open with the live server what is coming here this is what our ordered list so in one web page, we are able to integrate some other pages. In one web page, we are able to keep one another page. If you say frame border one, you see the difference. <clears throat> we are able to see a border here. This is how we integrate the local web page. Now let us keep one more web page. iframe, iframe, SRC is equal to images I want to keep. So 13 dot html underscore images dot html let us provide the frame border as one and one more iframe iframe src is equal to let us keep that project so 14 dot project 14 dot project 1 dot html project 1 dot html frame border and providing it as one so this is how we integrate a local web page why nothing is coming just refresh. This is what the image page, three images. We discussed about these images so that we have integrated. And this is what our page with the specific size and all. I mean, this is what the project we have done. Now, what I want is in one another division that is also local frame only or below that or inside a separate division. I frame the same project one dot HTML we are giving. We are able to keep this with our own width and height. So I'll just say width is equal to 500 pixel. I'm just providing the width as 500. See, width is increased. I want to have the height as height is equal to 350 pixel width and height. So it's increased. Width and height is increased or maybe slightly more 600 pixel and height 350 pixel and we will use something like a line a line is equal to center i want to keep it to the no, center is not working so this is what the software it solutions align left to right top center is not there so middle so it is related with the text associated with so now we will say a line is equal to right align yes. is equal to right right side is working i'll just use middle it is applicable to the text associated with that so middle it's not coming so same like image left and right is working there so align I'm not using that align if you want to keep this let's say style is equal to margin auto i'm just providing style is equal to margin auto Still, that is also not coming there. 
so that is not possible to be applied so it is an inline element so display block so by default i frames are inline see when you keep this three uh, i frames it is coming one to the side of other one is coming to the side of other so if i want to keep this one even image span they are all inline elements by default it will come one to the side of other only block level elements will come below so now we made it as display what is that we'll study in css for the time being you understand that how to make an inline as a block level element so by default i frames are inline it will occupy only the area required for the content so i frame src is equal to this one frame border 1 width is 600 pixel to keep that i frame to the center there is no use of align align is only left or right or for the content same like image so i want to keep it to the center even images can be you can keep the image to the center by using this style style is equal to display block style is equal to display block and margin auto style is equal to display block and margin auto this is how we keep our image to the center i mean i frame so first part we discussed about how to keep so i can keep this i frame also along with that after keeping so two breaks two line breaks i am keeping this i frame so after keeping two breaks we are keeping that coming to the center now the second part is we want to integrate a google page some other websites into our site some google page so for that a heading a google page in frame so another website in our page so another website in our web page so if you want to keep another website in our page for example we say i frame src is equal to https colon slash slash www dot softwaveit dot co only that i am not giving frame border nothing so we got i frame i frame src is equal to https colon slash slash www dot softwaveit dot co you see softwaveit dot co is integrated you can increase the width the height everything so for the body will provide some margin so style to make it a scrollable body body margin bottom of 300 pixel so margin bottom of 300 pixel so refresh we can scroll it so we are getting the site another website in our page so we can provide the width the height all that things can be provided so like how you provide the width the height and all you can apply here also so this is another website in our page so i can keep the frame border is equal to 1 so frame border is equal to 1 frame border is applied zero or one can be applied so this is how we integrate another website in our page now the third case is i want to integrate a display a pdf file in frame so i want to integrate a pdf file so for that purpose so division h2 another file in our page another type of file in our page so here we got resources inside resources we got core ui technologies.pdf so this pdf file we want to integrate in our page something like a government website in a government website they have got uh, some geo government orders will be there so how to keep that government orders in the government website itself so that they use the same thing i frame src is equal to resources slash 
resources slash core space ui technologies dot pdf i frame src is equal to i frame src is equal to resources slash reso ur cs resources slash core ui technologies dot pdf core ui technologies dot pdf this is how another resource we are integrating always better you write some comments also anyway we have written this message so it's not required so refresh come down refresh this what is this this is what our pdf file this is our pdf file i'll just increase the size so you are able to scroll down and you can see the complete thing this is what the pdf file you can increase the width the height also so i'm just increasing the width and height so width is equal to like what we have done before 600 pixel height is equal to 300 pixel so we are providing our own width and height you see width and height is increased we got this software white in i frame now the next two cases we want to integrate a youtube video so we want to integrate a youtube video in our page so if you want to integrate a youtube video so h2 youtube video in our page so how to integrate a youtube video please look here so first thing we need to get some youtube video i'll go to youtube.com when we come to youtube.com our channel is software yt our channel is software yt so suppose i want to integrate environment setup so this is what the page so we open this after opening this let us go to share how to do the environment setup ui technique you can also refer this in case if you face any problem of uh, uh, integrating i mean working with the visual studio code or if any of your people if they want to know they can follow this one live server auto save everything is integrated so our channel is software it so now once we come to this page you start playing that go to share i'll click on share when we click on share so we got a separate dialog box like this once we get this go to embed so once again i'll show you so we come to youtube.com take the video you want to play after taking that come down you click on this share when you click on that share there is something called embed click on this embed there itself we are having the i frame so this video is used to understand how to do the environment setup of visual studio code so just copy this and after copying just write as it is just paste as it is into our web page there also i frame width is coming height is coming src frame border allow accelerometer so these are all predefined things allow full screen also if you want you can remove all this not a problem so by default they are giving with the their own space auto allow full screen also so come to the page refresh youtube video in our page same youtube video their own width the height everything so start playing so we can maximize you can accelerometer everything is coming there next thing what we want is we want to integrate our location display google maps with i frame so i want to show the google maps in our i frame in our web page so for that purpose another division we got one division 
So inside this division, H2, Google map in our page. Our location, so software by it is location we want to show in the Google page, in our web page, not Google page. In our web page, we want to integrate the Google map. So in order to integrate the Google map in our web page, what is that we need to do? So let us come to google.com. Just see this. Search for software IT. So this is our software IT. And you come to maps. Software IT solution. Come to maps. Once you come to this one, what is that? So this is what our office. When you come to this, there is something called share. There is something called share. Click on this share. The second link is embed a map. Embed a map. There we go, go to this iframe. So just copy HTML. So you take copy HTML, we copy it. So once you copy, just integrate that in our web page. Paste it. Maps, google.com, maps, embed, some code is coming. Don't make any changes into that. So width and height is given 600 and you can change that. So I want to provide it as 560 and uh, height as 315. Same width and height is given. So border zero, allow full screen, area hidden, something. So save this. Let us open the page. And you see our Google map. Well, so today we are going to do a project with the help of the tags that we have discussed till now. So we discussed about around uh, 10 or 12 uh, type of tags like heading, paragraph, division, span, then text formatting tags. We discussed about list, ordered, unordered, description list. We discussed about anchors. So these are all the main things using iframe. Iframe also we discussed about. So these are the main things that we discussed about. Using that, we want to design a project something like this. So for that purpose, let us first understand what is the page to be developed. So this is what the page to be developed. So we require some images. So the main resources that we require is we require images. So to get these images, we can use pexels.com and you download the required images. So something like a restaurant. So the two images are of restaurant. Then burger section. So different type of burgers are coming. Burgers are coming. So for that, you download pexels.com. So from pexels.com. So we have got two images coming in the main section, restaurant. So for that purpose, restaurant or restaurants are what we are looking for. So download the images from here. So this is one image that we have used in our picture. This one, this is one image. And the other image that we have used is, you can download any of the images from here. Any of these images can be downloaded. So we already got that images. Then the second section, burgers. So we search for burgers and you identify whatever the or which are all the images that we need to have so these are all burger images so some of the images we have used here so one two three four four images the same way fry fire and ice with our fries so we'll search for fries and you search for fries and uh, get the required images so these are all some of the fries so like that, all that images you get. Now what we do is, in our Visual Studio code, we'll create 
a new application. So let's come to our workspace as UI3. So in this UI3, so we'll create a website with the name of food website. So 22, we'll create a new directory inside HTML with the name of 22 food website. So we are creating a new directory food website. Inside this food website, we'll have a folder for images to keep the images. We have got some folder images folder we have. So images is coming inside food website. And also in order to keep the CSS normally in a project development, we keep the images in images folder CSS inside CSS folder. So we write the CSS inside CSS folder. So images as well as CSS. Then what else is required? We need to have one file index.html. The HTML page is nothing but index.html. So we have done the structure. So CSS, images, and index.html, 22 food website that we have. Now, let us keep all the required images inside this folder. So what I do is I already got some images. See, these are all the images which we have already downloaded from pexels.com. So main underscore one dot JPG, main underscore three dot JPG. So like that, different images are coming. So breads, burgers. So we'll give burger one. So not bread, we'll give it as, we renamed it. So burgers underscore one. The second one, burgers underscore two. Rename burgers underscore two. The third one, burgers underscore three. Burgers underscore three. So like this, we got the four images. So green, desert, all these things are coming. So let me copy all these images and we will keep in our folder, SI3, UI3, HTML, food website, images. So this is what the first step. So the structure is already done. And then we got CSS index.html. So inside CSS, we want to write all our styles. That's called as external style sheet. So we call external style sheet. So in order to keep the external style sheet. What is that we'll study in our CSS class, but still we do, we want to do it as a real project. So inside CSS, we write a file as styles.css. This is an external style sheet. Whatever the style So till now, Whatever the web pages we created, in all the web pages, we were writing the CSS as internal or inline. But now we want to create an external style sheet. So styles.css. All right. Now coming to index.html, when you see this page, we need to understand how many sections are there. So let us keep these two comes under one division. So section is nothing but division. So first we need to understand the different divisions. So how many divisions are coming? These two under one division, we call it as the header. So that means this is actually navigation. Then the heading also, we combine both these things together and we will make it as a header section. So one division ID header. So one division for header. So we need to know how many divisions are required. That means we have got different sections. So diff ID is equal to header. This is one division. Then another division, this is what the main content. So that means two images, one heading H2. So this is H1, yummy foods is H1. This is H2, some CSS is applied, some paragraph, then two images. Then below that, the title of that, I mean, that image title or the caption of that image is coming. So this is done with a table. This is purely based on a table, which has got two rows. The first row 
as well as the second row contains the caption and one paragraph. So we call it as main content. So second division, diff ID is equal to, diff ID is equal to main content. So this is a main content division. Then the third section is burger section paragraph, four images, then paragraph. So that is burgers. So diff ID is equal to burgers. So this is diff ID is equal to burgers section. Then fry section, noodle section. So diff ID is equal to fries. So division is over. Then another division is nothing but uh, fries, not uh, FIRS, fries. This is only to understand how to develop the page. Whenever you get a page, what is the way? So fries, the next one is noodles. Fries, noodles, eat and healthy. So healthy section. Another one, healthy. Or greens, healthy is nothing but greens. Desserts. Desserts. And one more section is nothing but the footer section. So these are all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sections that we have. So is it correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So these are the 8 sections in our page. So first thing is, we should understand how many sections are there in the page. Then only the CSS will come. So in the header section, what is that we need to have? We need to have a navigation. These are all anchor. So when you click on home, top of the page, burgers, it should come to the burgers section. When you click on fries, it should come to the fries section. Greens, healthy, eat and stay healthy. Right, same. Then when we click on desserts, it should come to the dessert section. When you click on contact, it should come to footer section. So footer section, so this also below that we have got the same anchor. So we call this as navigation. So this is what the structure. So we are ready with our structure. So header section, main content, burgers, fries, noodles, greens, desserts and footer. So let's come to our HTML. We write in this title, we are providing it as SIT group of hotels. SIT group of hotels. So this is what the title we are giving. So in the place of yummy foods, we'll provide it as uh, SIT group of hotels. And before that, let us keep all that divisions. So I just copied all that divisions. So header section, header section for navigation and uh, main heading. For heading, navigation and main heading. Then this is main content section. Main content section. This is nothing but uh, burger section. So like that, whatever the sections are there, we are mentioning for our understanding. So this is nothing but uh, fries section. So what are all the five sections? So each section, there is a paragraph and also some images are coming. So this is uh, noodles section. This is noodles section. Green section. Or healthy section. Then we have got dessert section. So whenever you design a page, you write some comments so that we can easily understand. Any modifications are required, it is easy for us to understand that. The search section. And also we got footer section. The search section as well as we got the footer section. Now coming to this header, what is required? We need to have these links. Now, when I click on burgers, it should come to the burger section. 
how this burger section is identified with the ID. This is nothing but linking using bookmarks, linking within the page itself. So this is what the burger section. Burgers, fries, noodles, greens, desserts, footer. So in order to provide that link, if you want, you keep it in a separate division. If you want, you can keep it in a separate division to for grouping all that navigation. So division, what are all the, how many links are required? So we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven links are required. So in order to provide that A star seven. So A star seven, seven anchor tags will be coming. The first section home, anyway, we are in the home section only hash come to the top of the page. That's what home. The second section is what main content not required burgers. So burgers ID is nothing but burgers only. So we'll say hash burgers. So that means whenever we click on this link burgers, whenever we click on that burgers, it should go to burgers place. The next one fries hash fries. When we click on fry section, it should come fries link. It should come to that place. Then we got noodles hash noodles noodles n o d l e s noodles. Then when we click on uh, greens hash greens greens desserts and footer. So hash desserts. Remember what is the ID given the same thing to be provided. So desserts and this is nothing but hash footer. So footer section is nothing but what is the link contact footer is nothing but contact. So these are all the links that we provide. So this is nothing but navigation. So we give it as navigation section. So inside the header, we are providing the navigation section. A href hash home burgers, fries, noodles, greens, desserts, contact. This is nothing but ID. So linking within the page itself. We are using linking within the page itself. After this, what is that we want to have? We need to have yummy foods. So or we'll give it as a heading H1. Yes, IT hotels. We give it as SIT or soft wave hotels. Yummy foods in that place. We provide it as soft wave hotels. It is need to have two sections because the first two one is coming with the red color and the second one is coming with the yellow color. So to provide that two section, we need to have span. So soft wave is written inside the span and hotels is also written in span. So we have got two sections in our page slash span. So span soft wave and the hotel. So this is what the division. So diff ID is equal to header. So one division is navigation and the other division is nothing but heading. So first part is done. Now let's see how it looks like. Open with the live server. So the links are coming and also software hotels are coming. Then we need to have the header section. So welcome to software hotels or welcome to hotel or something we are providing. Then we need to have a paragraph. Two images are required. So that images to be placed because just below that this text is also coming. So we need, <coughs> we need to have a table. So one image and the second image we need to have in the first row two cells, second row, two cells. And below that one paragraph is required. So H2. So now coming to the main section, H2. Welcome to our hotel. So welcome to our hotel. So we need to have a paragraph. Lorem with the 40 or 50 words. So one paragraph. Below that a table is required inside that two rows. So we need to have a table inside that two rows. In the first row table data, we want to place one image IMG SRC is equal to 
images slash main underscore one dot jpg and in the next cell td img images slash main underscore three dot jpg both the images are placed so in the cell first cell one image in the first cell one image in the second cell one another image so first row two images will be coming let's see this so both are big images first image and the second image very big images both are coming then in the next row td the caption of that image so interior something we can provide so caption awesome ingredients and nice interior so something we are providing awesome ingredients td nice infrastructure or nice interior so after that table the third part is a paragraph again so some write up of that so that write up is nothing but lorem 50 so this is what the second section that we have so welcome to yummy food world so we mentioned something so below that image awesome ingredients nice interior and some write up is coming so this is what the content so one header section and welcome to our hotel that means uh, main content section we design the content now let us keep let us keep one more section that is burger section what is required for burger section if burger section is okay we can just make a copy of that content and all so burger section burgers collection bonanza that is h2 so h2 burgers collection bonanza we need to have a paragraph lorem with 50 then we need to have four tables i mean one table with the four images burgers one two three four and the write-up also so for that purpose we'll have table table row table data img src is equal to images slash burgers underscore one dot jpg td img src is equal to images slash burgers two dot jpg td img images slash so remember all these images we got from uh, techpexels.com or you just download that images so td img src is equal to images slash burgers 4.jpg four images are given under each image we want to provide burger 1 burger 2 burger 3 all that so when you see that below all the burger images are coming in the same table 2 3 4 then after that one more table row td burger 1 under each image burger one burger two three and four we are providing so this is burger two burger three and burger four and below that table one more paragraph lorem 50. so we are providing lorem 50 so that section is also done so we have got both the sections are done so two sections are done if we are able to do two sections rest all the things are same only now let's think about some css let us think about some CSS. So contents are coming. The first part is let us provide some styling for the image so that the size of the page will be reduced. So how to provide the CSS? So this is what image. In order to provide that. Now all the contents are coming to the center. All the contents are coming to the center. So let us think about the CSS. Inside styles.css body we will provide the font hyphen family you can see some font family as comic sans ms sans serif so we provided the font family and the complete content should come to the center so text align center this is what the two properties we given for body but it will not be applied on the image by default it will not be applied on the image 
So what is happening is we applied that styles in a separate file. So styles.css and that styles.css is present inside the CSS folder. So what I need is in our HTML, we want to integrate the CSS which is defined in some other place. So for that purpose, we use a tag called link. So we use link tag. Relation is equal to style sheet. What type of relation? So link we have used before also. So in order to provide some favorite icon. So the icon along with the title bar in order to provide that we use link relation is icon. Now href is equal to where that styles are defined. So styles are defined in CSS slash styles.css. Now save this. Everything is coming to the center of the page. That part is done and the font is also being changed. Everything is coming to center. So I don't want to provide this space. So by default body eight pixel margin is there. We don't want to provide. So coming to styles.css, we say margin zero pixel. So margin zero pixel. So we are providing margin zero pixel. The space is being removed. Then after that, let us arrange the images properly. So IMG for the image tag. IMG will provide a specific width of 300 pixel and a height of 150 pixel. Let us see how it is coming for all the image width and height is reduced. All right. Looks better. The width and height is applied. Now we'll apply some border hyphen radius and remember whenever you provide some integer values number values and all don't give that in double quotes. So 20 pixel is what we are providing. So every image, some 20 pixel border is coming. Now I'll just apply that inside double quotes. Save it. See, is it applied? The border pixel is not applied. Border radius is not applied. So make sure when you are giving the value, don't give that value in double quotes. If you apply that in double quotes, that effect will not come. So that is done. But what I want is What I want is these four images. Okay, the size is that much is enough. The size of that much or we'll provide 270. This much size is enough or we'll provide uh, 160 pixel. So this is enough, but for the main two images, it should be bigger size. So only for that two images, the size should be bigger. So for that purpose, only for these two images. Only for these two images, the size should be bigger. For that purpose, what I do is IMG dot main. IMG dot main or simply dot main. That is used to provide. This is called as class selector. This is called as class selector. I'll apply width of 550 pixel height of 250 pixel so width and height img dot main so dot main is a class selector whatever properties are applied that can be applied to the image tag you use class cc equal to if you want to apply that we will say class is equal to main and for the second one also class is equal to main. So what happens is whatever the properties are defined for I IMG that is applied along with that, whatever properties are defined inside this class that also being applied, that is also being applied. Let us see the size is increased. Yes, size is increased. So width is increased and also height is increased. So now we don't want to have uh, or more, maybe 500 pixel and uh, 270 pixel 550 as well as two 500 pixel and two, 270 pixel so the same border radius everything is coming along with that 
whatever the class selectors are applied. So anything starts with the dot is called as class selector. If I apply IMG, this can be applied only to IMG tag, not for every tag. This particular class can be applied. Class is equal to main. Class is equal to main can be applied only to IMG tag. Class is equal to main can be applied only to IMG tag. So this is what the first part. So page is looking like this. Burgers, everything is coming. Softwave uh, uh, hotels, welcome to our hotel. And uh, awesome ingredients, nice interior. Everything is coming. So text content is, I mean, text aligned center. So everything is coming to the center. So this is what the first part of our page. Got these points, please. Now what we want is, I want, so how much area the table is occupying? To know that, you go to inspect element. We want to know why this table, the image is not coming to the center. Let's come to the table. The image is okay. Let's come to the table. So table is occupying this much area only. Have you seen? Only that much area. So I want to make the table to occupy 100% of area. So for that purpose, let's come to the styles. We will have the table. And the table we provide with the hundred percentage of the table so with the hundred percentage to be occupied now you see table is occupying the hundred percentage area so inspect element using that we can understand how all the things are coming so looks better so now the table is occupying the hundred percentage area space and all the things are applied now then what is required is so that table part is also done for the image some box shadow also we want to apply so box hyphen shadow zero zero ten pixel and black color so some shadow also we want to apply for the image yes that is also applied for all the images burger section then what is required so we want this heading to be displayed in a proper way this is h2 all h2s to be displayed in a proper way so what way it should require? A background linear gradient is required. There is a specific width for this. So black, brown red, or dark red and black. Three colors are coming. So for H2, for H2, we provide background, linear gradient, 35 degree or 45 degrees. We'll say black, dark, red, as well as black. So we are just providing linear gradient, 45 degrees, black, dark, red, and black. Let's come to this page. Okay, it's occupying the humble area. I don't want to make it occupy this much area. We just want to provide a width of, a specific width. So width of 60% of the screen width of 60 percentage of the screen and all these things should come to the center text is coming to the center okay but the text should be in white color so for that color white the text should be in white color okay and it should come to the center that h2 should come to the center how can you keep that to the center so we will say margin auto by providing margin auto it will come to the center all right now we want to provide some padding. So space between the content and boundary. So padding of 20 pixel. It is more space. Let's provide 10 pixel padding of 10 pixel. All right. Then we want to provide a border only for the bottom. Okay, we'll see that. Now we want to have a curve here. Left side, we want to have a curve. Right side, we want to have a curve. Bottom not required so for that purpose for h2 border hyphen radius of 60 percentage top left 60 percentage top right zero percentage bottom right and zero percentage bottom left only top side border is coming so you see 60 percentage is applied so looking something like that looking something like that now we will apply some border 
for the bottom so padding maybe slightly more padding is required so we'll provide the padding of 15 pixel so this looks better compared to the other one and also below so some white color is coming so border is applied only for the bottom so now before that if you want to get that effect let us apply a background color for the body so two colors are coming this is uh, light green below some other color so for that for the body we apply background linear gradient 45 degrees light coral light green light coral as well as light green colors we are applying this is our page okay two colors are coming this is okay welcome to our hotel and we want to provide a border we want to provide a border only for that so in order to provide a border maybe h2 will provide the width as 50 percentage of the screen will provide 50 percentage of the screen and we want to provide a border bottom the complete area we don't want to have the border border we want to apply only for the bottom so for that border hyphen bottom we'll study all this border bottom five pixel solid and white color solid is what type of border we want to have a solid border with the size of five pixel and color as white color you see almost look same burger section all images are coming content is coming everything is okay almost similar to the other one so home one piping symbol is required so index.html home so some font and all if you want you can apply there so so we are providing this also so when i click on burgers it's coming to the burger section home anywhere top of the page only burgers only one section is coming so this is what the page we have done welcome to our hotel burgers collection bonanza then the same way we can cope i mean soft wave and hotels so we want to provide so this is nothing but h1 so for the h1 what properties are required for h1 only one h1 inside this h1 what is the phone phone hyphen family phone hyphen family C A S T L Castler. Let let me check out that it's working or not. Sans serif. So some font. So this is coming as a default font, not the actual font. So there is a uh, win word. Let us see what is actually one font we will take. So which font we are taking is I'm taking one font. Softwave. Softwave. I'll increase the size to 48. Okay. C A S T. C A S T E L L A R. So this font we want to have. C A S T E L L A R. Copy. So we will provide that particular font. So when you apply that font, see. That font is coming. Let us increase the font size, font size to 40 pixel, 45 pixel. We are increasing the font size to 45 pixel. Now the first one, we want to provide the red color and other one yellow color. So for that index.html span style is equal to color red color and the other one style is equal to color yellow color so red color as well as yellow color we are providing softwave hotels red color and yellow color we are getting then i want to provide some shadow so what is that shadow i'll explain later so i'll just apply not h2 for the h1 so text hyphen shadow 
text hyphen shadow same like box shadow so 0 0 10 pixel and black so some shadow we are applying to the text you see softwave hotels is coming castler and the font is also coming and if i want to have some border bigger size font hyphen weight i want to have w e i g h t font by weight bolder so some font weight as bolder thickness is coming font weight bolder so soft wave hotels same way yummy foods soft wave hotels we have done so some text shadow also applied so left same like box shadow so left zero top zero 10 pixel black so index.html all these things are applied now when you click on this burgers it is coming very fastly to this section. Coming very fastly to this particular section. I want to make it as a slow movement. The control should go in a very smooth way. So in order to do that, inside body, we'll say a property called scroll behavior smooth. So inside body, we will say scroll behavior smooth. Smooth transition should take place no transition actually so let's click on this you see the difference burgers it's coming in a smooth way not directly coming there so it no it's not no effect is coming right burgers it's coming same speed only now what i do is i'll apply this not inside body for the entire html i'll apply for the root element we'll apply scroll behavior as smooth for the body there is no effect now let's see any effect is coming or not A refresh i'll click on burgers see you see the difference it's coming in a smooth way to that section so scrolling effect so smooth scroll behavior in a smooth way it is coming so this is what burger section then what's the next section so in order to do the rest of the thing we can just make a copy of this so burger section we have already done only headings are different and images are different i'll just make a copy of this paragraph also make a copy of this and we will keep this inside the fries section so in the fries section what is the heading in the fries section the heading is nothing but burgers fries and ice with our fries fire and ice with our fries any any heading fire and ice with our fries and only the image to be changed in the place of this we'll say fried underscore one dot jpg fried underscore two dot jpg the third one fried underscore three dot jpg and fried underscore four dot jpg fried underscore four dot jpg and the caption also you change it fries one fries two fries three fries four so we are giving the fries section let's see how it is looking coming to this page burgers fire and ice with our fries fries is also coming so we'll go to burgers coming back fries coming to the fries section now the next one noodle section so inside this noodle section you can provide our collection of noodles our collection of noodles so images to be changed so we downloaded all the required images from pexels.com from any of the website you can download that we just provide what is that the image names you should see blessers greens fries other maybe other underscore one so images other underscore one other underscore two other underscore three 
So the images we are placing here, other underscore four. So all that four images, so noodles one, two, three, four. Noodles three. Noodles four. So this is what the noodle section. Now healthy. So inside this healthy section, we'll just give it as lead a healthy life. Lead a healthy life. So we provide greens underscore one. Green underscore one. The next one, green underscore two dot jpg. Because one section, if you are able to do, rest of the things are simple only. Green underscore three. Green underscore four. I mean, green four dot jpg. So section is also we are changing. So greens one. Then we got greens two. Greens three. So the caption, something like a caption of the image, greens four. So this is one section. Then the final section we are having is called as dessert section. So inside this dessert section, what is that we are providing? So let's see what is the heading given here. Enjoy the desserts. Enjoy the desserts, one paragraph and the images. Desert underscore one, desert underscore two, desert underscore three, desert underscore four. So we'll provide in the place of burger ice cream one, ice cream two, three, four. So this is nothing but the four ice cream sections we have. Now coming to the footer section. Now let's see what is actually happening. So our page design is all over. So these are all the sections. Welcome to our hotel, home, top of the page, burgers, fries, noodles, greens, desserts, now we want to come to contact. So what is that we require inside contact? What is that you require inside contact? So contact SIT. So one heading H2 contact SIT hotels. So this is what the heading contact SIT hotels. Copyright, ampersand, all rights reserved. So we'll provide some paragraph. So paragraph, ampersand copy, ampersand copy semicolon 2020 SIT group of hotels. Then we have got one another paragraph, all rights reserved, all rights reserved, all rights reserved, exclamation. In the next line, BR, Developed and maintained by, so developed and maintained by anger tag A, href is equal to https colon slash slash www.softwaveit.com or co softwaveit slash A. So this is what the footer section and below that we want to have a horizontal ruler. HR is a horizontal ruler and below that all the links are also provided. So to provide that link already we have got the navigation section. So this division is available. I'll make a copy of this with the comment. We'll make a copy of this 
and we will keep at the bottom of the page. So we got the division, href. So our page design is over. So yummy foods, this one is old one. Then we will provide some color. So this is salmon, so that one is coral color. So you can provide the background color as, if you want to have the same color, light salmon. Light salmon is what the color we are providing. So now you see 45 degrees color. So some body background, bot, I mean bottom, some space if you want, you can, you can provide that also body. So top and bottom for the body, margin, top and bottom 10 pixel, left and right zero pixel, top and bottom 10 pixel. So some gap is coming, contact section, Below also some 10 pixel gap is coming. Noodles, the complete page design is done. So this is what the same page. So whatever we studied till now, everything is applied on this page. So that CSS and all, you should have a clear understanding. So HTML. So for when you are moving the control from one location to another location, we provide the scroll behavior smooth body what is a background color then another new property what we discussed is only about border radius so multiple values can be provided so 60 percentage 60 percentage so four values are given so basically border radius can be applied to four regions so top left top right bottom right and bottom left so this 60 percentage is top left this 60 top right zero percentage bottom right and zero percentage bottom left. So these are only the new styles we applied, rest all the things we used in our pages before. And also we discussed about the class selector. So class selector can be applied to a specific. So by this time we discussed about uh, element selector or tag selector, IMG is an element selector. Dot main is nothing but the class selector. If you want to apply this property, you should explicitly mention that. How to mention that? In order to explicitly mention that, we use the class attribute. So class is equal to main. So whatever properties are declared inside this, we are able to apply to that particular element. Class is equal to main. So main, class is equal to main can be applied only to IMG. So some restriction we are giving, IMG.main. So this is what the page that we have designed. So burger section, home, burgers, fries, noodles, greens, desserts, contact, soft wave hotels. This is called as navigation, then header section. So whenever you get a page, first you understand how many sections are there in the page. Now that uh, header H2, rather than 50, I'm just providing it as 60 percentage. So slightly more space. 60 percentage is applied. So two images, all the other. So content is simple only. Very simple page design. So H2, some other font if you want, you can apply there. So not that uh, this one I, I want to apply. H2, we want to have a separate font, font hyphen family, Arial, serif. So Arial, serif. So welcome to our hotel, burgers, collection, bonanza fire and ice with our fries. So any font, so that standard font we applied to all the H2, H1 is some other font. So this is how we design this page. So is that clear to you? So some CSS styles, some new things we studied is how are we able to work with the external style sheet? How are we able to work with external style sheet? So link relation is equal to style sheet href css slash styles.css how are we able to work with the external style sheet now in this page food website so you don't need to provide index.html so when you come to html we got 22 food website when you click on this automatically index.html page will be open i'm going to click on this Automatically index.html is coming. How come index.html? Because every website index.html is the default page. Now when you click on 
HTML. See, for example, when you click on HTML, it will come inside the page because there's no index.html. If any index.html is there, that will get opened. In food underscore website, we have got index.html because of that index.html is being opened. 